I work in the phlebotomy department in Riverside Hospital and the phlebotomy department is responsible to draw the patient's blood. So we actually take all of our equipment to the patient's room, which is needles uh, and tubes that hold the blood, and we draw the patient's blood work. We transport it then down to the core lab. The results of the blood work determines the course in, of, of uh, diagnosis and treatment of a patient. So the doctor is waiting on those results before he can decide how he's going to move forward. No, I was not in healthcare before. I was in retail for 25 years and wanted something totally different to do. And this was something that had always interested me. So I decided to go to school and see you know, what it was all about. And I fell in love with it. There's two different routes of training that you can go here in Columbus. Um, Columbus State would be one. It is a year long program. It's two semesters or you can go to a shorter duration program at the Ohio School of Phlebotomy, which takes about two months, I believe. I'm not as familiar with our program as Columbus State. Um, the Columbus State program, you get hands-on. You will do your first semester, you'll go to an outpatient facility, you will actually draw for 40 hours, 60 sticks, 60 patients. And then the next semester, you will go to a hospital facility and you will get to, to do 40 hours there also, and you will be sticking 60 patients. Certification in the state of Ohio is through the American Society of Clinical Professionals. That is a test that you would take after you finish the class. You would uh, get a hold of the ASCP online. They would send you to a location to take a 100, que 100 question test, score 500 or above, and you'd be certified for three years. The job prospects in phlebotomy are very vast. You've got the hospital setting that you can work in, which is 24 hours a day. There's numerous shifts if, to, to fit your family needs. Outpatient labs, um, that's pretty much a seven to three or seven to um, six at night, mainly daytime, and there's plenty of those. There's also something called a traveling phlebotomist where you actually will go to nursing homes or people's homes to draw. It's pretty much 24 hours a day in most places that you go. So if you're a mother who has to put your children on the bus at eight o'clock, you could work the afternoon shift, the night shift, or the early morning shift and come in like at three in the morning and get off at eight, be able to run home and put the kids on the bus. If you wanted to come in and work nights, you come in at two, three in the afternoon and work till 10. There's always a need, especially early in the morning, because keep in mind, the doctors are who are waiting on the blood. I would advise the high school student to look at the sciences, biology, chemistry, to make sure that that is part of their curriculum so that they understand the body structure. I would also make sure that they really sit back and think, am I a people person? Because I'm gonna be with people every single day. And you've really got to love taking care of people and being part of the team that gets them better.